Justin Fricky with No Born Seeds. And we've got Bill Trader from Osmond's Farm Supply. And we're down here by Rake, Iowa, looking at some nutrient builder cover crop. Uh, Bill, why don't you just walk us through and tell us why we've got some nutrient builder cover crop here in the middle of Iowa and why we've chose to go with this, this blend and those sort of things, I guess. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Justin. So in this area, um, this spring of 2013, we had a tremendous amount of prevented plant acres. Um, I got in contact with Justin and he helped formulate uh, the nutrient builder mix uh, for us. And we thought it really focused in on some of the needs of what we want to do. It's predominantly, I guess, uh, radishes that we see out here today. But he, we have uh, ryegrass, vetch, crimson clover, sun hemp, which we'll see some of sticking above the canopy, and uh, some lentils, which we don't see much of, but yeah. we have a nice mix of um, species out here. We were looking for ground cover, um, some nodulation, nutrient recycling, um, maybe breaking up a little bit of compaction here with the radishes as they grow along. So those were some of the things that we were trying to accomplish and Justin helped us out with. Yeah. I think anytime we go into these these prevent plant acres and we have the opportunity to put uh, a cover crop down for those reasons, um, you know, we've always found that, that these blends do such a better job. We, we get that diversity factor working back on our soil that, that, we're, we, that we just don't have anymore in a corn and soybean rotation. So we get multiple species out here. We're doing some great things biologically with the soil. Um, and we're just keeping that soil alive here throughout the, the entire growing season rather than just keeping it fallow and doing nothing with it. Um, so this is, this is a great example, I guess. When you have the opportunity to go ahead and, and get a cover crop on, even though it's a poor situation, you have prevent plant and, and the weather's been unfavorable, um, you can see what we can do and turn a, a negative situation like this into something pretty positive and, and getting the ground prepped better for, for the 2014 season when we come back in here with our normal cash crop. Do um, you have anything else to add, Bill? Or um, Just really excited about how it's going to break down. It's new to all of us out here. We haven't had to deal with a prevented plant situation before. Hopefully we don't have to deal with anything like this for a long time again, but what it offers um, for building the soil and what we're maybe going to gain and yield next year, I think everybody who's using it is just really excited to see how, how it turns out.